Ashwin, centre-backs. The midfield is Grant, McStay, McLeod and Burns. The Stewart is picked up by McStay. Great experience came off for McStay. There's McKimmy with a great chance for Aberdeen. And it's just about a foot wide. Well, still a desperate shortage of scoring opportunities at both ends. With more than half an hour gone in the first half. A nudge by McAdam, was it? No, there's a chance for Billy Stark. And the best chance of the first half goes a begging for Aberdeen. Celtic players protesting to the referee. There should have been a free kick before this chance was created. A high ball down the middle started it all. McAdam and McDougall went up together. The Celtic players think that McDougall fouled McAdam. The ball was played wide for Billy Stark. He measured the shot and drove it just beyond the top corner. Stewart again gets up the ball, Porteous down towards McDougall. And a chance for Aberdeen is missed once again. McDougall trying to react quickly enough, but Bonner went down well with the save. Good move that from Aberdeen. Stewart on to Porteous. Delicate ball forward. McDougall reacted quickly enough, but so too did Pat Bonner. Garvey doing well at the byline. Too high for Johnston. And a penalty kick's been given. A penalty kick has been given for a push on Morris Johnston as the ball came over. Well, drama at Petodre. George Smith making clear the reason for it. Billy Stark was the offender. Now, this was great play by Frank McGarvey on the right. At the byline, drinking and turning, lofting the ball across. Johnston appeared to be underneath it. He was eased under it there by Billy Stark, and that's why the penalty has been given. Aiken, brilliantly struck, and Celtic are ahead. The Aberdeen supporters at the King Street end, wild with anger about the penalty kick. And there's some trouble here, a Celtic player has gone down. There was something thrown onto the field. Now the referee coming to sort things out. The Celtic players were celebrating, waving to the Aberdeen supporters. That certainly may have been a little bit inflammatory, but one of the Celtic players is down, and it's not at all certain how that happened. The referee, George Smith, wants to have a word, I think, with the police. So a discussion there, and obviously some anxiety felt by the referee about the possibility of a missile being thrown on from behind the goal. Frank Connors out there on the field. And the man in trouble is Paul McStay. And he's taken a knock in the area of the left ear, I think. McKimmy and McLeod. McLeod clearly thinks that McKimmy was the offender. And now the substitution can be made for Aberdeen. Dougie Bell goes off, and Neil Cooper comes on to add some extra steel to the Aberdeen midfield. Porteous with the free kick. There's Willie Miller. The equaliser for Aberdeen. And how Miller enjoyed it. 17th minute of the second half, and Miller is mobbed by those delirious Aberdeen players. Petwadri has come to life. Well, an orthodox kind of free kick taken by Ian Fortius, looping the ball high into the box. The Celtic defender attention drawn by Alec McLeish. In came Miller, he timed his run well. The downward header sneaking in at the far post, and Aberdeen are back on level terms. Short corner this time, Proven and Burns. Aberdeen only sent one man out to cover that. McLeod hooking the ball across goal. A difficult one for Leighton, he's in trouble. And a free kick's been given, it won't count. The challenge on Leighton are judged to be unfair and the whistle went
thanked immediately. So McGarvey's goal is chopped off. Moving stays clearance. It's well taken by Simpson. McLeod stepping in. Here's Neil Cooper. With Billy Stark. Now shoot and a great chance for Aberdeen to settle it. Well, that would have been a dramatic finish. John Hewitt did everything right until the final shot. And there goes the final whistle. The Aberdeen supporters greet their favourites. Uh, Alec Ferguson undoubtedly demonstrating that he clearly believes the league is well and truly won, notwithstanding mathematical considerations. So a tremendous performance from Aberdeen to come back after trilling from Roy Aiken's penalty goal five minutes from half-time. And then it was their captain, Willie Miller, who gave an inspired defensive performance and who eventually had the equalising goal which guarantees the league championship for Aberdeen for the second time in succession and the third time in six years.